Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hi folks, welcome back to another tutorial for the design team Makings Clay. I feel like Halloween. <laughs> So I'm going to do something with a glass bottle and making clay and a little bit of fiber and probably mica powder. We're going to need wire. It is um, an ordinary wire from the home improvement, uh, I would say about a 20 gauge. That's all we need for the moment. First I'm going to start with some gesso. I want to grunge up this bottle. So I'm going to start with gesso and a wet wipe and I'm going to cover some parts with gesso. This is going to help me that the clay sticks a little bit better and also just gives a little bit of a grungy look. I don't gonna cover up the whole chest with the clay. And now I do dab it so that it is very irregular. I want it to kind of look like it has been for centuries in either on the sea or in the ground, <laughs> whatever you prefer. And now that has to dry. So my bottle or rather the gesso is dry now. Uh, I also did bring in the Makings Professional Ultimate Clay Machine, which by the way has Teflon rollers, which really works nice, even for ordinary polymer clay. I'm gonna work with the non-bake Makings clay. I have about two thirds of a whole 120 gram or 4.2 ounces package, but I don't think I need everything right at the moment. So what I intend to do is to mimic some fabric which is going to be somehow <laughs> on the puddle. I simply just cut through the packages that works really easy. And if there are some leftovers just pick it up, not a big deal. So there's nothing going to waste. Okay, now I start on the setting number one and get thinner and thinner. And I have no idea how much I need, but I already see that I have too much probably. I don't need that. And just a little side note, all the clay I don't use, I put right back into a bag which has a wet towel and keep it there so it doesn't dry out. Okay, I want it really thin. I'm on a four now. So what I want now, and I think for that reason I'm going to spray it a little bit, just to make it a little bit more tacky. I want wrinkles and bumps. And what I also want, I don't press down the edges yet, I want to add some of these fibers. I have no idea what it exactly is. I did get that from somebody and I just gonna use it now. And hopefully that sticks. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of glue just for the fibers.
So I additionally have this um, texture plate from Making Clay. It's the weave. I also gonna add some additional texture. I'm gonna spray it a little bit because I want to add some uh, makeup powders and for that I use a brush one of those stipple brushes works for me the best that's what we have so far I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna clean up my mess <laughs> I will be back we are not done yet so next step i want to make a spider to go onto the bottle which is drying over here and uh, i'm gonna cut me four pieces which makes eight legs about eight inches or 20 centimeters take a little piece and just bind those four legs slightly together now we're gonna spread them gonna cut them back so but I'm not too worried you always can cut back but adding this a little bit more different cut. now we're gonna need to make a spider and I'm starting and if it is a little bit dried out because it yeah, happens just add a little bit water and we're gonna start with the bowl for her body Then I make it flat uh, on the side where it's going to be on the bottle. Just makes it easier to attach. And if there are little gaps, I simply smooth it out with the finger. Make sort of a half egg shape. And then we need also a little bit for the head, of course. So just that you get an idea of the measurements, I'm going to put it here. So it's, it's about four and a half centimeter, which is about roughly two inch, not completely. I do scratch the surface a little bit where the head attaches so that it has a good adhesion. Dip it a little bit in water and here we go. making a little bit of a flat oval piece I want to anchor those legs into the body now we need additional pieces There are those pieces in the head. I have no idea what it is, but I know they have like those 
pieces here. They have like a little bend in their legs. That's what I'm trying to do here. And now I need something so it doesn't roll over. Weed. That has to go on here. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to add a little bit of glue, if I can. <laughs> because there is a lot of micro powder. If it is um, clay on clay, it usually isn't a problem. But because there is so much micro powder there, it's a little bit harder. Now that probably takes quite a while to dry, but you will see a picture at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care!